everyone. Welcome back to Trade Without Fear Forex. In this video, we are going to look at the mitigation blocks and the breaker. This is the continuation of previous video about the order blocks. If you haven't watched that video, please see the pop-up card and watch that video first. The mitigation blocks, uh, these are orders that we most often seen on triple top or triple bottoms. The bearish mitigation block will be the last bearish candle prior to the move up that made a swing high for the break of market structure, previous low or the support. In this example here, you can see we have like the, you have this high, but uh, for the mitigation blocks, these highs, new highs will not be above the previous highs. And these lows, sometimes they can be equal low or they can, they can trade below the previous low, but there will not be the very big range. What validates this mitigation block is when you see the break of market structure or support and the very big range after the break. So when you see this big range after the break, you'll have to look for the last bearish candle here. Prior to this move up, that made a fractal high or the swing high to break the market structure. And the bullish mitigation block is the opposite of the bearish mitigation block. It will be the last bullish candle prior to the move down that made a swing low before the move up that break the previous highs and uh, resistance or the market structure. And the mitigation block also note that price will not be breaking the previous lows. After the market structure or previous high or low break and prices traded away from the broken areas, price will repeat these areas and they can be good entry positions. So what you need to wait always both in bullish or bearish uh, mitigation blocks. After the break, this was the last bullish candle prior to the move down that made a swing low, then break the market structure. So you'll be looking for after the the, the range above the break of market structure or resistance or previous high, wait for the retest to these levels and then take entry. You always have to make sure that the price has shifted from the area of break and wait for the retest. So the, the, this means that avoid the uh, very small breakout, the breakout that doesn't look, that you're not sure about the real breakout will have the big range. The mitigation blocks can be used in line with our previous order blocks, fractals, moving averages, or Fibonacci. That means you have to look to the other indicators as well if they confirm that it's a good area of entry. Most of the time, mitigation block in low time frames like 15 minutes chart, it will give you uh, the bounce of 50 moving averages. Now, let's see the breaker. These orders will most often seen after the stop hunt move or the Judas swing. So the bearish breaker will be the last bearish candle prior to the move up that took previous highs tops and made a swing high for the break of market structure, previous low or support. So the difference between mitigation blocks and the breaker is that the breaker will be the last bearish candle, the bullish break, uh, the bearish breaker will be the last bearish candle that made the move up to take these previous highs here, then made a fractal high and reverse. Remember, the mitigation block price will not take the previous highs here, but the breaker, so that is the difference between mitigation blocks and the breaker. Although when trading them, the entry strategy is always the same. Look for the price to trade away from these areas, then wait for the retest. So the only difference between uh, the breaker and mit uh, mitigation block is that the breaker will not, uh, will take previous highs or low before breaking the market structure, but the mitigation block mit uh, will not do that. So the bullish breaker is the opposite. The, la the last bullish candle, prior to the move down, that took previous lows here and made a swing low 
that led to the uh, market structure break or previous resistance or previous high break. This is GBPUSD 50 minutes chart. Although you can use, you can see these patterns in all the time frames, but I'm showing how to identify this pattern and to trade this pattern, then you can trade in any time frame you want. And I've inserted the fractals indicator to show you the uh, swing highs and swing lows. In this example here, you can see we had the equal highs here. Then this was the last bearish candle that led to the move up. This move took these tops of uh, equal highs here and it made a swing high that broke the market structure here, this most recent swing low. So you are going to highlight this level. And always these levels, you can extend them to the right. Remember in previous video, I told you, you always have to look to the right if there is previous order blocks or any other support or resistance in, in the current market that you're trading. So extending these levels to the right, or when market is, uh, you have to identify the current range that you're trading and look for levels like this on the left because they can be usefully in the current market uh, price. For example, you, you can see here, market broke this level and we had the range down here. See how many times it was rejecting here. So this is the, uh, the example of the uh, bearish breaker. And for the bullish breaker, it's going to be the uh, vice versa. And this is the example of mitigation block. As you can see here, price reached the area of resistance. After reaching the area of resistance here, this range was very small, price was consolidating. So you won't say this is a breakout because the range is very small here and you don't have a very big range below these points here. So price, that is why I told you in previous slides, in the slides that price, sometimes these lows can be equal or price might be breaking these lows but not giving the range below it. But you will always have to wait until you see the clear breakout and see price was not breaking the previous highs. You can see these highs here. Price was not breaking these previous highs. But here is when we had the very big move down here. You can see this move is very, uh, you can see the solid candles here, the very big candles here. So now after seeing this, you'll have to pay attention to the last point, the last bearish candle that made a swing high that, uh, and that swing high, it will be the swing high that uh, led to the break of market structure of previous resistance or support. And you can see here what happened. This was the last, uh, this was the swing high that broke this uh, fractal law here to identify the market structure break. So you are going to highlight this order block here. This is the mitigation block and extend to the right. See what happens price came back to this area here and it uh, bounced off. And again, for the recent swing lows, price, this was the last bearish candle. When choosing order blocks, you have to select the order block with the most body and not the weeks. In this case here, this was the last bearish candle prior to the move up that made a swing high, which took these tops here. And we had the range below it. So when price is retesting, we'll anticipate it to retest to these levels and here is going to be our entry. And these levels, you also extend them to the right. And here again, we have this law here. Prior to them, uh, before the break of this law here, this was the last uh, bearish candle here, prior to the move up that made a swing high, which broke this uh, loss here. So this is going to be your very mitigation block and see what happened. And these are important notes when uh, trading with the breakout or mitigation blocks. Always remember the market structure. So always trade in the direction of market structure. Don't trade against the market structure. Or if you're counter trading to the market structure, know what you're doing and know when to uh, get out of the market. And these tools that we are learning will help you to know when to get out and when to uh, be in the market. Look for mitigation blocks during retest after break of 
previous highs or low to the direction of market structure for re-entries. So uh, let's say you have identified the bullish market structure. And the bullish market structure, it will be breaking previous highs, but maintaining previous lows. And let's say you went in here after, the, after identifying the break of market structure, you are able to identify the breaker that led to the move down here and uh, which took the stops of these previous lows here before breaking the market structure. And now let's say you went in here. So now bullish market structure will be, uh, will be breaking previous highs but maintaining previous lows. So as market is, trade is breaking previous highs, this is the indicator that market is about to give you a nice entry. So when you see a breakout, it's a good indication. What you need to wait is to wait for the retest. And only, only when price has broken previous highs or low, during the retest is when you'll be looking for these mitigation blocks, the breakers, Fibonacci, moving averages, natural support and resistance. So during the retest is when you pull out these tools and start looking for the entries. So we started in previous videos, we started looking at the natural support and resistance. Then we went through the implied support and resistance, like Fibonacci, the order blocks, and now the mitigation and the breakers. So we are breaking down these tools. And in coming videos, we are going to see how to use these tools together, when to use uh, some of tools and when not to use some of tools. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel because more videos are coming and they're going to help you. And always extend these levels to the right and look for previous level in current range. So always after the, identify this uh, mitigation block, extend the levels if you're using horizontal lines or the zone or anything that you're using, extend to the right because uh, in coming weeks, coming months, coming days, price might react to these same levels. And when you have identified the current market range, you'll see this in our market structure or uh, in Fibonacci video, if you don't, what, uh, you don't know what um, current market range is, go and watch the Fibonacci video, will help you to identify that. So if you have identified the current range where market is trading, also look on the left for previous breakers. They can be bullish, or bearish breakers on the left. All these are reaction levels. We know support, when, once support is broken, it becomes resistance. So also in breakers or bullish, uh, or the order blocks, the bullish order block that led to the move higher, it can also be the point of retest when market is trading low. And this will act as resistance. So always look to the left in the current range of trading loop if you see these levels on the left because they will react as reaction areas. Use other tools like Fibonacci, moving averages, fractals, or any other tool in line with the breaker as price may bounce or fractal or any other tool like moving average or Fibonacci before touching the actual breaker. So sometimes you might find you having maybe the bearish breaker here and just uh, after this bearish order block, you had the doji candle here, then they move up here. Now this is the fractal because uh, this low is lower than this low on the left and right. So sometimes price may not retest at this order block here and it may bounce off this level. Sometimes this level can be in line with the moving average, it can be like in line with Fibonacci or the fractal here. So make sure that you use different things, different tools to confirm your trades. And I've shown the example of bearish breaker and the mitigation block. So your homework is to go through the charts, through the different time frames, and see the bullish breakers, see the other bearish breakers, the uh, mitigation blocks, and see how price reacts to these areas. You can go to previous years and extend uh, extend these levels to the right and see what happens to these levels. And this is the end of this video. In coming video, we are going to see other implied support or resistance. Until next time, thank you so much.